is about noon and I have finished my walk and let's see, we are about 16 hours into the 60 reboot, 60 hour reboot. So <clears throat> what do you do about noon the first day? Broth time. Okay, so this is salted caramel, um, better broth, bone broth. Okay, so we know it has collagen, it's good for inflammation, it's good for your joints, it's good for your gut. Like the possibilities of bone broth are endless and this stuff is yummy. So what am I gonna do with it? So here it is, salted caramel comes again in the kit. Now, when you're filming, you have to open these packets with one hand, so. All right. You like that move? Okay, so all I'm gonna do is, we're gonna put you down here with my blender. So that is about 16 ounces, I'm still tearing this package open, of water in my blender, okay? So, there goes my bone broth into the blender. So, what I like to do first when I'm making my slushy is to actually blend up the bone broth first before I add the ice so I can make sure it's really incorporated in there. Does not take long, so we'll do this. All right, so that was easy enough. So now how do we make this into a slushy? So like when you're on the reboot, when you're on the reboot, a lot of times you want to have that sensation that you are chewing something, that you are eating something. So I'm about to make that into a slushy by adding ice to it. So you're not at home, like you're not your own mom boss and you can't be at home doing your job from the house. You can go get like Sonic ice or any of those pebble ice and pour that over it and it would be perfect. You could just shake that up too. You do not need a blender to make it um, mix up. So just showing you the slushy way because we're talking about how to make this reboot your own. So let's go back down here to my blender. So here I've got just a cup of ice. Just gonna stick it in there. Now depending on how much of a slushy you wanted it to be, you could definitely blend more ice or less ice. I'm going to do this on no joke that cloud. Okay, so And that's all it takes. Okay, so my little 16 ounces of water plus the ice has grown this to 32. It's probably not going to fit all in my cup right here yet, but I will be sure to drink it all as the day goes on. So, I feel like it's going to come really close. So, there is my salted caramel slushy. You can't have a slushy without a straw. So, there's my straw. Okay. So you're realizing how easy peasy that was to make a slushy. And I think that salted caramel one definitely tastes better as a slushy, as an ice cold beverage. Some people like it hot. Again, we're talking about reboot, making the reboot your own, but why not give a salted caramel slushy a try your next go round? So hope everybody's doing awesome on the reboot. and. Um, this salted caramel, by the way, does have ketones in it, and it's available in the store for anyone to purchase, even outside of the Reboot. You can get a whole box of just this if you're craving to make a salted caramel frappuccino with ketones. All right, check in with you later.